Imagine yourself hanging out in space, wearing your favorite outfit, living your dream moment, and getting ready to take the best picture of your life. But wait, can you survive there without a space suit? What is the need for a space suit? How is it made? Why does it come only in the white color? Join us on this space ride. But before we start packing, let's know all about the amazing invention of one of the most expensive suits on earth. So this one time, in the first ever space walk humanity had ever witnessed, and let me tell you, it was not an easy peasy thing at all. The astronaut Alexei Leonov had a near death experience. As soon as he left the spacecraft, his spacesuit began to swell and its fabric began to stiff. His hands slipped out of his gloves and his feet came out of his boots. Moreover, the Earth's shadow was not too far now and he realized that within five minutes, he'll be surrounded by total darkness. So why are space suits important? If you're in space, it's all fine until you are inside the space station. But if you try to take the big leap and go out in these clothes, you'll survive but only for 15 seconds. Your body could inflate like a balloon or you could become unconscious. Even if you try to hold your breath, your blood could boil or freeze. Not only this, you'd be exposed to various types of radiations or small dust-sized particles traveling faster than a bullet. Not ideal conditions for humans, right? Hence, the space suit is a must. It is actually much more than the clothes that an astronaut wears. A fully equipped space suit, almost like a spacecraft all by itself. There are two different kinds of spacesuits. One is to be worn inside a spacecraft. This is known as the flight suit or intravehicular space suit. The other one is worn during spacewalks. This one is known as the extravehicular space suit or EVA. The flight suit protects astronauts during launch, the ascent to space and during the way back home. But the suit which we generally recognize as a space suit is the EVA. The EVA is not a one piece or a single layered cloth. It is made up of several parts and layers. The two main parts are the pressure garment and the life support system. The pressure garment covers the astronaut from head to toe and the life support system is like a backpack. The primary components of the pressure garment are the cooling garment, the upper torso, the lower torso and the helmet. The first layer that astronauts wear is a cooling garment and about 300 feet of water tubes are woven into it. This is a tight fitting clothing and it covers the entire body except for the head, hands and feet. Chilled water flows through these tubes to maintain body temperature and remove extra heat. There are a few vents in the garment to draw the sweat away from the astronaut's body. The hard upper torso is lightweight but strong and connects the inside of the suit with the portable life support system. It is shaped like a sleeveless shirt and connects the arm assembly that covers the arms and joins the gloves. Astronauts need to perform several activities in space that require proper hand movements. Hence, they should be able to work and pick up objects while wearing spacesuit gloves. The fingers are the part of the body that get coldest in space. And so, the gloves are equipped with heaters. The lower torso. This includes the pants, boots and the lower half of the waist closure. It connects to the upper torso using a metal body seal. For the astronaut to move and turn, a piece called waist bearing helps. Layers A spacesuit is made up of 16 layers. The cooling garment makes the first three layers. On top of it is a bladder layer which is filled with oxygen for breathing and gas to create proper pressure for the body. 
The next several layers are insulators to help maintain the temperature inside the suit. Last but not the least, the white outer layer. Now, why white? Because white can reflect heat from the sunlight and is made from a fabric that blends three kinds of threads. One for water resistance, another makes it bulletproof and the third is fire resistant. Life support system. The backpack is the backbone of the spacesuit, provides electricity and also contains a two-way radio communication unit. It also contains oxygen and creates an earth-like environment inside the suit. Communication system. A Snoopy cap is worn under the astronaut's helmet that contains earphones and microphones. The cap connects to the radio of the space suit and enables the astronaut to talk to other crew members and mission control. Helmet. The helmet on a space suit is built for spacewalks. It serves as a pressure bubble and it is made up of strong plastic. Outside of this bubble is a protective visor. On top of this visor, there is a sun visor and sun shades too. The sun visor has a special gold coating that works like the astronaut's sunglasses. All this together makes up one space suit. It takes years of research, hard work and dedication of several scientists to design a single space suit and hence it is priceless. But if you really want to know the real price of it, it's more than 12 million dollars or more than simply rupees 80 crore and on top the life support system costs extra. I know I know that's far more expensive than any other dress or not. Well that's all for this episode of Explained. Also don't forget to take your space suit even on your imaginary space ride. Before we end, do suggest to our topics on which you'd want to watch Explained.